going into Appalachia, up there you have the PJM grid. Um, there's been a lot of transactions in PJM of people selling existing power plants, and I think that's no accident. It's hard to build a new plant, a new power plant in PJM for a variety of reasons. One of the challenges is it's a multi-state jurisdiction. PJM goes across six or seven states. It is the largest grid in the U.S., but it, it goes across so many states. And so you have political infighting over building infrastructure. Um, it's a big challenge. I mean, you, you, you know, you mentioned that, that maybe there's not going to be midstream built out there. That, you know, that kind of thing worries us as far as um, gas constraints, because a power plant pays one price for gas and it's just a, a machine that turns, you know, ga let's say gas into cash eventually, right? And you've got to be able to get your product to market. You have to have good natural gas infrastructure and you have to have good transmission capability. Um, PJM is really tough in terms of how much they require developers to put down. Um, can be hundreds of millions of dollars in terms of upgrading the transmission infrastructure. They put a lot of that load on the on the generator, um, which is really hard. I mean, power plants are, in general, lower margin type of businesses compared to uh, gas or other things. So it's, uh, it's a challenging area. We, we like Ohio, but we haven't been able to pull the trigger on anything just because of those reasons.